From the future rulers, the Guardian's body was born the sword Argetlum. Wah, wah, wah. I'm not really sure what that's all about. Oh, okay. I'm not really sure why she went wah, 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 but apparently she just got too much information at once. Eh. It's a rather clumsy way to uh, explain it. It's not really a clumsy way to explain it. It's just the way they explained it was very clumsy. But, you know, we've actually kind of come to expect this from this game. Let's see. Her up, Big Berry. I Don't worry too much about your HP and stuff in this dungeon at all because... There are no bosses. In this or the next dungeon, I don't think. <laughs> yeah, screw it. Walk across the lava. Builds character. Sesame. Now make sure you grab all the chests in here because not only can you get a. Uh, I got. So far I've gotten a Mega Berry, the Crest, and. What was that last one I picked up? I don't know. I didn't really pay attention. But you can also pick up a new weapon in here for Kanan and four duplicators. Ah, wait, I know how to do this. It's been a while since I've done it, but I know what to do. Haha! -ha! I'm smart. Demon Lord Blazer, who plies the scorching hellfire by thought, takes in all the wrath, sorrow, and negative feelings of people, and grows fat as a curse called God. Each time the hellfire is waved, a hundred wraths and a hundred thousand sorrows are born, surpassing a new threshold. Those possessing flesh and blood consume flesh and blood to come into being. Those who consume emotions, in other words, hearts, take shape that way. They destroy beings of similar substance. Basically what this is saying is, is that that Lord Blazer is a being of spirit, so um, that's how he gets stronger. He feeds on negative emotions and stuff, and that uh, the stronger he gets, uh, he's going to eventually overcome Ashley. But the Argetlum is keeping him at bay, because... It is made of similar substance, I guess. It has similar properties that he does.
Basically, what it boils down to is Ashley's walking a fine tightrope of screwing the world. And if... If I try again with Puka. I want that chest because it's got a lucky card in it. And I know you can get it with Puka because I did it in my test run. Damn you for making this so hard. I if I get it from this angle. I am smart. That took me way too long to do. <laughs> I'm not nearly as smart as I think I am. Oh, wait. Anyway. Let's fight this fight. It's been a little while since we've actually been in a battle. There are three enemies in this place. Wise men, Voidras, and Horn Monsters. There's Voidras and Horn Monsters. Kill Lilka, and I'll get level one that guy. Take my kung fu. Whoa, those things are kind of creepy looking. They're no match for Brad Paunch. And we are almost done with this dungeon. And do you see that door there? Yes. It's actually really hard to uh, see. If you ever miss this door, don't feel bad. 
Well, damn. I... No new enemies there, not going to fight them. I approached that the wrong way. There we go. Come down here and you will find... Ah! That's right, one duplicator. Two duplicators. Three duplicators. Four duplicators. And a very cleverly hidden uh, secret passage, I might add. But anyway, that is... I think everything in the dungeon, actually. I wonder if it's a veto. Which are of the blaze of disaster. So, the way I understand that is that everyone in the world despaired so much when the blaze of disaster happened. All that negative feelings made it impossible for Anastasia to... to, to be able to destroy him. We knew that already. Finally get Force Gax level 3 for Kanan. She's been going this entire time without a... Without a... Uh, okay, my dog is annoying me. <laughs> but, uh... I lost my train of thought, I'm sorry. I was talking about Gat level 3. So let's look at it. Gat level 3 will allow you to basically get any of the level 3 abilities, which is Vortex Cut and Fate Lance. Uh, there is only the one level 4 Gat ability, but uh, Gat level 4 and Eagle Claw... Is it Eagle Claw? Yeah, I think it's Eagle Claw. It's very damn powerful. Okay. So... Next stop, we need to go a little out of the way, so we're going to teleport to Guild Glad. <clears throat> and I'm actually going to go in Guild Glad and stay at the end. I do want to stay because I'm almost dead. One of the few times in the game I'm going to deliberately stay to in. Yeah, without MP in this game, there's really very little reason to stay to in because you can heal yourself up for free. Uh, it's just, well, I being lazy on my part, really. So anyway, from Gilgalad, we want to teleport to our hovercraft. <laughs> 